say anything this evening, so hang on. <laughs> Honorable Premier, Mrs. Smith, the Deputy Premier of uh, Just Departed. Physically, not spiritually. Um, as I look out over the audience uh, this evening, I see uh, many, many faces, most of them familiar, some not. Many of you have met, uh, some I haven't. Some I have met. Some I have met, uh, forgot that I've met and embarrassed myself. And, uh, some I have not met and thought I had met. But some of you are wearing socks. <laughs> some of you are wearing t-shirts. But one thing brings us here together tonight. One common cause, one particular, one particular celebration, and that is uh, free drinks from Robinson and Hunter. So it's, it's nice to see so many people here from the financial services sector and from the government. And, uh, and I appreciate everybody coming out. And I, I assume that many of you are, are here just to make sure that I actually am leaving RH. As you know, the overseas directors are here en masse. Uh, and they were particularly concerned about that. Uh, in fact, I don't leave until until the end of July, and uh, some of them said, uh, really, really, as long as that. <laughs> but it's nice that they're here, and uh, Chris, yes. and um, Richard, Douglas, uh, and Mark Harris, of course, uh, Paul Hubbard here from, from Bermuda, who uh, first interviewed and hired me for this, for this job many years ago, and has been forced to travel to the colony class ever since. It's uh, also great to have uh, my daughter, Brittany uh, Whitney, she's over there, she's visiting. She managed to secure an exclusive interview with the Premier this week, which will be published, I think, around the middle of June on the Friends of the Overseas Territories website. And also uh, happy to have my son, Chris, where is he? He's over there, uh, with his girlfriend, Dana. They live in Venice Beach, Los Angeles, where there are uh, many, many strange and unusual people. <laughs> Not, not like here in the BBI at all. Yeah. Also, uh, my fellow resident directors are here, of course, Edith, uh, Annie, and, and Derek. And uh, thank you for putting up with me uh, all this time. Um, your long national nightmare is almost over. Uh, we, we came here in 1997 because, uh, among other things, I was impressed with how the BBI had made its mark in international financial services and how, even in Bermuda, where I was before I came here, clients were asking to use the BBI more and more. The changes that have occurred since then have been seismic. And the products available here, the business environment here have all developed almost beyond recognition. It, it's been a great experience. I've met some great clients. Uh, many of whom I still visit when visiting our permit in the prison. <laughs> and I'm hoping to stick around and play a small part in keeping the PBI in, the, in, in its rightful place in the forefront uh, of a much needed, although much maligned, international financial services industry. And I've also been uh, very fortunate over the years to work to work with the BBI government and it's on, on a wide variety of matters that uh, challenge the terrorists. It's not easy stuff, <laughs> like uh, amplification. Um, where was I? Not easy stuff, uh, but. Um, Firstly, it's been uh, an enjoyable experience, filled with uh, dark humor, if I can use that expression, and I can set myself lucky to have worked with some great people. I see um, Roderick Head here. Is, is Roderick still here? Raise your hand if you are, Roderick. I'm sure he won't recall um, what time was um, I'm, I'm told if you 
move back. Not, oh, not for so everyone's safety, but if you get nearer the city. Nearer the city. The first time street. we met was on Seven Mile Beach in the Cayman Islands, and um, we had a, a long chat then. I don't know if you do remember that, Roderick, but uh, um, we did. And uh, he was like assistant registrar of mutual funds or, or something like that. And um, I remember thinking then, uh, you know, this young man probably has a, a great future in the government. And it may well yet happen, brother. So hang on. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Uh, is Lorna still here? Yes. Oh. Lorna and I have been on so many committees, I've, I've lost count. I, I see that you're running BBI Finance again. You were chairman of the Marketing Advisory Committee, and now you're chairman of the FSBDC. You're doing such a great job there, you tell me that all the time. <laughs> but seriously though, it's, it's hard to keep up with you, and you've done a great job, and I hope that um, as, as I, I have as much energy as you when I get, uh, when I get older. The, the other big part of my life here is the little school on the hill that uh, Patricia started uh, the very first year we were here, despite great skepticism. And uh, many of those children who went through the Montessori school system have gone on to do great things. And I guess it's not so little anymore, and I'm, I'm very happy that Danielle, uh, the principal, is here, although she may not be so pleased to see me up there more often. But she and her colleagues do a great job. I hear that all the time. And I never see I never seem to have a chance to thank her properly and say how much it's appreciated. The school occasions everyone's always bursting into tears and so I, I don't take the risk of speaking up there. I'm trying to hear, but it's difficult. And then I keep my mouth shut most of the time. Anyway, Dan, you do a great job and I've Back up, back up, back up. Almost at the end. So, I don't see um, as much change in our industry as we have, as we have seen over the last five years or so. We are in a fundamentally different place and our resolve is being tested as never before. The BDI faces a huge, huge, as Donald Trump would say, challenge. Uh, to adapt its financial services industry to what will be the new normal. This much effort is underway, of course, uh, and I can urge those here from the private sector to continue to please step up and, when called upon and, and get involved. There seems to be no doubt that the industry here will undergo a major change, which will hopefully include a firm and sure shift to substantial activity being based here. Not everyone will be able to make that change and new participants will have to be welcomed, bringing opportunities for everyone. But, in the words of Steve Perry from Don't Stop the Leading, some will win, some will lose, some were born to sing the blues. That's all that's BDI out. That's the end of the speeches, I'm afraid. I'm sorry.